Well, you might be thinking it's kind of weird seeing a Shake tutorial since it's really not being sold no more, but you can still find copies of Shake, and you're always going to be able to find copies of Shake probably places like Amazon or eBay and stuff. So I'm still going to make Shake videos because Shake is just unbeatable. It's awesome. And in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to paint in perspective. So if you see here, I got this picture of this wall here, and we want to paint something on this wall. Okay, but if we just went into the quick paint node and started painting, it wouldn't look like it was on the wall. It would just be flat across the screen. It, it wouldn't be in perspective at all. So I'm going to show you how to paint in perspective, okay? So firstly, if I go to my image tab and get a quick paint node, okay, and let's make our color black, okay? And if we paint, you can see if we paint down the wall here, it don't really look like it's, you know, the, the stroke stays the same size all the way down. Let's, let's see here. You see the stroke stays the same size all the way down, and it just don't look like it's really on the wall. It does a little bit up here. So let's figure out how to fix this. Let me show you. So let's get rid of this quick paint node, and let's just get a brand new one. Okay? So here we got a brand new quick paint node. Now from this quick paint node, we're going to go to our transform tab and we're going to append a corner pin. Okay, and this will give us a corner pin. Now from our corner pin tab, let's go to our layer layer tab and let's um, branch out and over. Okay, now that's into the first input of our over. Let's take our wall picture and put it into the second input of our over. And if we click the right side of our corner pin node to bring up the parameters, we will see the corner pin box as well as viewing the over node. We have our viewer button checked so we can see the over node, but we have our parameters button checked on the right here for our corner pin so we can view the over node while looking at the corner pin parameters. I want to take this corner pin and I want to pin it down to the angle of this wall like this. Now this is just an example. It don't have to necessarily be a wall like this or anything. Line this up a little bit better here like this. That's looking okay, I guess. There we go. Yeah, it looks like it's lined up in perspective there pretty good. It could be a little better, but hey, who's complaining? Okay, good enough. So now what we're going to do is we're going to activate our quick paint node by selecting the right little button on our quick paint tab, which will, what will it do? It will activate the parameters. The button on the right puts that node into the viewer. I mean, I'm sorry, the button on the left puts the node into the viewer. The button on the right puts the parameters into our parameters pane down here. So let's hit it on the right so it'll load up our parameters. And now you can see we have our brush. But our brush is skewed. You see how it's kind of off shape there? Well, that's that's the way it's supposed to be because we're painting in perspective. I'm going to hit the P key and pick my color. I'm going to make it black. Okay, now I'm going to, what I want to do is I want to go in here and I'm going to paint. Now when I paint, let's make sure it's black and not white. Now watch what it looks like when I paint. Let me turn it to the hard brush here. I'm going to paint down through here. Now look at that. Now as you can see, it looks like that black streak is painted right along that wall. And if you notice, my brush starts out small, I mean big, and it, as I move down it goes smaller. And that's because of the perspective. So if I come in here and paint like this, it's going to look like it's being painted right on the wall. And it's going to go on back and back and get smaller and smaller, as you see. Now you can see there, I think that don't look too bad. So you can see the power of Shake, and it's just an indispensable tool, guys. And it is just so powerful that I like it better than Nuke. I'm sorry, it's just so, it just works so much easier. Nuke has its strong points, don't get me wrong. But as far as just plain old compositing and stuff, I mean... The paint node and shake is wonderful. The roto is classic. 
So um, you'll see a lot more from me in Shape because it's a wonderful application. So this was a quick tutorial on how to paint in perspective. Thanks for watching.